correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think we have eight million seeds mm. here. Mm, um, no, a little bit less. more. Oh, more, sorry. 100 million. 100 million, sorry. All right, wait, wait. When, you're, when you're ready, go. The Ai Weiwei documentary is a film about the great Chinese artist, his views on politics and culture and the changing politics and culture, as well as the way he forms his art and the relationship he has with his art and the people that he engages to actually make his art. I'm more fearful than other people maybe. I act more brave because I know the danger is really there. If you don't act, the danger becomes stronger quite a considered piece. He has a very gentle philosophy and a very simple philosophy and it, it's got a really lovely warmth to it. Okay, see what it's, it's not going to destroy it. There's a lot of political comment in the film that he makes in sometimes very subtle ways and sometimes very overt ways. He spends a lot of time trying to expose the mechanisms behind the hiding of information, but also there's some really quite high drama in many ways, like uh, there's a sequence in the film where he's being tailed by uh, these government agents while he's uh, uh, doing an artwork and uh, he confronts them really quite directly. Uh, are you following me? You know, what do you think you're doing? And then it transpires later, goes to the hotel room that he's in and they literally kick the door in, uh, in the middle of the night and confiscate all their stuff. And those kind of modulations are really great in the film. The police doesn't know the, the power of the image, you know? <laughs> they have their camera, we have, have our camera. So the work that they do focus on in the documentary relating to the Sichuan earthquake in 2008. So they didn't release the figure of the amount of students that were killed and his work around that was bringing out the names of around 5,000 young people which obviously would have pointed to some significant failings in the uh, actual physical construction of the, um, of the communities these people were, were living in. There was a big issue for him and he brought it out in a very powerful way. Bringing the kind of conflicts that Ai Weiwei and other Chinese artists have to live with every day to an international community, it's very powerful. <laughs>